Ah, uh, pretty spooky stuff, huh? So this week I had this awesome opportunity to work with my good friend, Michael Beats, who's a director and a creator out of Melbourne, Australia. And he had this awesome innovative idea to do a horror slash thriller film completely performed live and shot on like webcams and, and phone cams over like a Zoom type broadcast system. And he sculpted this entire project where he could cast it and rehearse it and shoot it live and everything could happen without anyone ever leaving their homes because everyone's in quarantine. Well, I had the opportunity to create some atmospheres and some really cool creepy sounds for this project and I had a lot of fun doing it. You already heard a little bit in that intro, but let's jump into it and talk a little bit about how I created the sounds and how I used the modular synths to do that. All right, here we go. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this patch here. So I basically had two things going on with this patch. I had uh, this kind of riser, uh, synth riser going with the telharmonic. And then I had kind of this heartbeat, this creepy heartbeat. So that's actually coming from the Rene. It's, everything's clocked from the Wogglebug. Then it's clocking the Rene that's moving through a, a sequence. And the sequence is actually just a, a slight alteration in the, in the, in the CV. And I, I used the CV out instead of the uh, quantized CV out so that we don't actually have this quantized to any pitch. Then this is going into the mass and uh, the oscillator is coming from the final on the uh, DPO. So you can kind of hear that here, that's this little heartbeat. And I've got it going down to off camera there, down in, down the bottom, I've got that going to the uh, a Roland 521 uh, filter because I used up my Q-Pass both channels for the uh, for the next thing we'll talk about. But this, yeah, it's going into the Echophone, kind of give it this, uh, um, kind of pulsing uh, uh, delay on there. And then it's all going into the Erverb. And it kind of just creates this really menacing pulse. And you, as you bring up the envelope, so you can change all types of these parameters and get a little bit of a different sound. And that's just this menacing kind of sound. And you can bring up the intensity with the uh, cutoff filter and then maybe bring up a little of the reverb. And this all like adds to that menacing uh, uh, sound. Now the next thing I had, just bring that down, was this um, kind of riser. And I had this actually triggered from uh, the pressure points and it's actually the the sound generator is coming from the telharmonic both the noise and the phase out of the telharmonic are going into the Q-pass then that's going into my amp which is then going out to the Erverb and so when I hit the actual pressure points it sends a gate out you hear it coming in so I really slow rise and kind of a quicker decay and as that's coming in I actually have this envelope molted, and this this is actually uh, modulating the uh, frequency on the cutoff, the cutoff frequency as well. So that's going up as the as the riser is going up. So, and these different parameters are both uh, modulating uh, three different parameters here. So we get like a different. Every time I hit one of these buttons, you get a little bit of a different sound. So you can kind of modulate some different parameters and get a little bit different sound. And then when you put these together, so you have that menacing pulse, and then you can bring in this. So you actually, as the riser's coming up, you can adjust the, um, the tone knob and you can get a pitch rise as well. Let's just listen to that again. And I'm adjusting the pitch knob here, or the tone knob. And you can change all types of different things. So as the, what I'll do is I'll watch a particular scene in the drama and then experiment with these different 
parameters and actually see what kind of sounds I can get. Like maybe I want something a little bit more gritty with this. Maybe a different sound with this and I want it to drop down. And you can kind of just experiment, bring up the, the reverb and it really just gives you a lot of space. It's just really cool. There's so many things you can do. And even if I want to like totally change the can change the envelope on the to have more of an attack. So like maybe I want something to to hit like right on. Then I can actually have that as more of like a jump scare attack. Turn up the cue. Kind of create a whole bunch of different sounds. Then we can go back down, have a, then again with that slow rise, and slower. See, so many things you can do, just mess with these different parameters and actually really hone in that uh, creepy sound. Anyways, so that's a bit about the patch and uh, yeah, it's really a lot of fun. This is a really versatile make noise synth and you can really get a lot of cool dark, dark sounds with that. Good times. All right guys, that's about it. The show is called In the Shadow It Waits and I'll leave a link below with more information so you guys can go check it out. Hey, thanks again for watching, and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next synth video. All the best.